and sit down. You disgust me. Yeah, that's right. You disgust me. What? What is Voight saying? No, you idiot. Not disgust. Disgust. I'm not saying you disgust me like you talked about me. I'm saying you disgust me like you're disgusting and you disgust me. What? No, Voight. I don't want a lollipop. Jesus Christ, shut up! Look, you guys, we put together a pretty good team over the past few years. We won 100 games a year. We picked up coal on the free agent market for 11 fucking trillion dollars. And I thought we were poised to break out in this short season. And what do you do? What do you do? You shit the bed. You crapped on the cake. You puked up the expensive champagne. You prematurely ejaculated. You're sitting on your own fucking nuts! I want to talk to uh, Judge and Stanton for one minute. You two guys are fucking blowing it. You're blowing your careers. You're going to look back one day and say, damn it, I wish I strapped on a pair and played through these bullshit injuries. Because you are missing so many games, you won't have the stats to get into the Hall of Fame. It's that simple. Judge, where are you? Judge, how can I miss you? Judge, stop changing the light bulbs and focus. Three years ago, you missed 50 games. Last year, 60 games. And this year, forget about it. Stanton, you played 18 games last year and 14 this year. You have six home runs since the end of 2018. Six home runs! I hit more than six home runs in the last two years, and I haven't played since 1972. Mickey Mantle used to wrap himself up from his ankles to his armpits and play through every injury. Lou Gehrig, 2,130 consecutive fucking games. You both need to look into a large mirror and figure out what you need to do and be on that field with your teammates. I mean, what's the point of having the second coming of Maris and Mantle or Ruth and Gehrig or Mays and McCovey or Aaron and Matthews if you two never fucking play together? And half the time, the both of you never even really play at all. Abraham and Strauss play more games than you. Rowan and Martin are more productive than you. And they're dead. You're Martini and Rossi on the rocks. Say yes! Look, I asked my brother, who, as you know, is the grand poobah of football operation for the New York Giants, to speak with you today because I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do with you fucking momos. I'm at my wit's end. Maybe he can get you tougher. Vic, please say something to this team. Thank you, Victor. Hello, man. Look, here's what I see, guys. I see... I don't know what the fuck I see. And I'm going to be honest to the point. I see a team that lacks toughness. How many guys have already been injured this year? I heard judges out with a calf strain. A calf strain? In football, you have to be missing the entire calf to sit out a football game. You guys are weak-minded and weak-bodied and you need to figure out how to get tougher. I don't know what kind of drills you do in baseball, but maybe you should stop stretching and taking grounders and playing pepper or salt or cinnamon or whatever the fuck you call it and stop practicing like men. Do you know what, 
Do you know what, what, what we do in our private schools? We do stuff like nutsack separation drills. Yeah, that's right. We send the running back into a gang tackle, and then, and then we have the defense pull the runner's nutsack right off. So that the players know what that feels like if it happens in a game. Oh, by the way, there's more than one ball carrier during that drill, if you know what I mean. You know what we do? Someone comes up to a coach and says, Oh, coach, I have a calf strain. We hit him with a two-by-four right across the forehead for three straight hours before we get down to serious beatings. Look, guys, this Yankee team suffers through too many injuries every year now. Something's wrong. Either you're a bunch of China dolls or you shouldn't be playing professional sports. I got nothing more to say. I feel bad for my brother. Each of you needs to figure out what you need to do to make it out on that field every single day and to play hard when you step foot on that field. Someday, you're going to fight and realize you just shit your pants and you'll be too old to play anymore. And it's going to be too late for you and the pants. There's nothing more to be said. I got to go. Tough it up, jerk-offs. Thanks, Vic. Well, you heard him. What do you have to say for yourselves? Void, you can't have ice cream. You know who isn't or playing like shit or injured? My bookie, that's who. At my bookie, if you deposit up to 1,000 bucks, they match it. It's free money. Hello? Also, for 100 bucks, you can get in on the weekly NFL contest where you bet five games of your choice each week. You have a chance to win 100,000 bucks in that contest. That's right. And now here's the craziest one of all. Go to my bookie and you can bet the Kansas City Chiefs getting 54 points in their opening game. That's right. You heard me. You heard right. The Chiefs are getting 54 points. They are basically giving you a free win, so you will try them out. What do you want from me? Go to my bookie, and you can learn all about the stuff that they have going on. Just use the promo code VYANKEES so they know I sent you. I mean, my bookie is making it impossible not to bet with them. And don't give me any bullshit about betting. The fucking Raiders are in Las Vegas now. Gabish? If you're going to bet, go to my bookie. And that's that. We have like, what, 17 games left in the season? Well, you know what? I can tell you now that you better start thinking about running the table because you have put yourselves in a pretty shitty position. You have three teams ahead of you for the two wild card spots. Forget taking the division. You're six games behind Tampa Bay, and they own you this season. They are the new Red Sox. Oh, yeah. You guys are like ballerinas, and they are like gladiators when you play. Ever see a ballerina fight a gladiator? Oh, sure, they dance around a little bit in the beginning, but the gladiator eventually catches the ballerina and bangs him right in the keister. You guys should have some sore asses right now. That's all I can say. Okay, here's some numbers for you. Andrew Ha, 218, Gardner, 165. Wade, 161, Hicks, 209, Sanchez, 121. That's five guys in a batting order who should be professional bowlers with those batting averages. Torres is at 234, which is like Ty Cobb compared to you idiots. Voigt, Frazier, and LeMayu are carrying this team offensively. Sessa and Holder have ERAs on the three. Cole and Tanaka have ERAs under four, and every other fucking pitcher has a fucking ERA that would suggest they are throwing underhanded while smoking pot and wearing stiletto heels and nylons. I need to go talk to Boone now. Uh, this guy is trying everything he can. I, I, I can't blame him with all the injuries and all the guys playing like shit. What's he going to do? A manager can only do so much, right? He isn't making Sanchez strike out. He isn't making anyone do anything. 
You guys better figure it out because we're running out of time. I'll see you on the field. Yeah, sure. Go Yankees. Go my baby bombers. Yeah, sure. I'm out of here.